Hello guys and welcome back to my Let's Play FIFA 14. Um, it's been about a day or so I think since I played the last one. Um, I think I'd done three games in that one. Uh, yeah, so I had the cup game against Wolves, the FA Cup I think it was. And I lost 3-0. Um, and then I lost 2-0 to Torquay United, Torquay United. And I drew 0-0 with Morecambe. Uh, we've got four games left um in december then it's the transfer window um so i'm going to go ahead and go, crack on with them i'm going to fit all four of them in this video i think um also i'm sorry about that i got some caught in my throat <coughs> um the epic gamer says that i should try using sharps a bit more uh, so i'm going to go ahead and use him instead of Slade. Uh, I'm going to put Billy Key back on as my main striker for this next game, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll also know what I'm going to do because I've not done a squad report for a while um so i'll get one of them in as well now i think um so yeah so just feel free to pause the video at any time oh see his stats have gone down quite a bit and i've not even used him so yeah i'm probably i'm gonna look at re um getting a new player for a new defender even uh but yeah most of my other players, it looks as though, God, I want to sign him, Cristante, look at him, 18 and he's nearly 70, he's gone up, stats are really impressive, practically all yellows, nearly, um, he's going, my scouted 16 year old's coming on nice as well, um, as Oak hasn't grown much, McDonald, Billy Key's gone up by two, Chris Hussey, I've got him to 70 on another playthrough, so I'm hoping he can get that far. Slade's gone up one, McFasden, Bennett. Where have I gone past McGurk? No, he's only gone up by one. But yeah, most of them do seem to be growing. It's just Ian Sharp. I think his name's Ian, isn't it? Yeah, Ian Sharp's seems to be decreasing but that because of his age he is about 33 or 30 one of the other one of them sorry I can't talk um yeah so I'm going to look at replacing him anyway or keeping him as a backup defender but we'll see what happens risk of losing 11 players didn't they What I'm going to do, I might do all these because there's quite a few. I'm going to do all them off camera, I think. So I'll do them at the end of the video. Uh, so I'll keep that one for now. 22,000. Oh, I've read these, haven't I? I'm going to praise them, I think. I think they always... Uh, total of three plays in Chile. Yeah, I've had. I'm pretty sure I've had these emails. That or I've had a dream about this video. I'm having a bit of deja vu. It must be a glitch in the Matrix or something. There's no cats walking by me. Yeah, so we still need to start winning again. We are now 10th in the league, so I need to start pulling my finger out a bit more, or try to anyway. Works or not out there. And coming up now, a corner. And he's in there with a header. There's a lovely bit of defending. That's really good. Well, there might be a break now for... That's offside, surely. What? That was offside, I'm pretty damn sure.
Hartlepool. It's a penalty for Hartlepool United. Up steps Danny Kedwell. Could it be? Well, chasing this equaliser, they've got a corner. It's hit very well in the gut. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, guys, I am losing 1 0 at the moment. Um, they got a bit of a fluky goal. Kind of me. I am having a few chances of my own, but nothing's really going in. Um, I'm not going to make any subs just at the moment. I'm going to leave it how it is. Really? Well, guys, I have lost that game 1 0. Um, it felt like no matter what I've done, every tackle, pass, everything just seemed to deflect to their players. It was slightly annoying. My players didn't seem to want to move where I was trying to tell them. It was a bit of a odd game, if I'm honest. But you know, you can't win every game. Uh, risk of losing 11 players. Yeah, I'm just going to delete that for now. Sort that out at the end. English Football League 2. Burton Albion nil, Cheltenham Town one, Dagenham and Redbridge nil, Bristol Rovers one, Exeter City one, Mansfield Town nil, Fleetwood Town nil, Plymouth Argyle one, Hartlepool United two, Bury two, Northampton Town one, York City twenty one, Oxford United one, AFC Wimbledon two, Portsmouth nil, Morecambe one. Rochdale. I'm going to motivate. Scunthorpe United, nil. Chesterfield, one. Southend United, two. Newport County, nil. Wickham, one. And I think one. I'm going to put Stanley, McGurk nil. back in the squad. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Chesterfield with 44 points. In second, Scunthorpe United. And with I'm going to give. McFazden go and Ishmael or Ismail Ismail however you say it uh, I'm going to give Phillips a game as well uh, keep McDonald keep Cristante in 8th Berry with 34 points Bottom of the table, Accrington Stanley. With yep, 12 that's points. my squad. Then reading up the table, second bottom, Dagenham and Redbridge with 17 points. See if Third this makes any of a difference. With 17 points at all. Bottom, Into a, a dangerous territory, really. Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle. It was badly timed. Referee has pointed for a corner. Yeah, it might easily have taken a deflection too. Well, McDonald. It's Gray. And it will go into the middle now. Here's the cross. It could be in here. Yes! And sorry, the epic gamer. I've done that celebration again. It is like a muscle memory. Every time I score, my thumbs just react to that celebration. Well, it was a great delivery into the box. I'm going to try and learn a new one, but <laughs> I don't think I'm scoring that much to actually do anything. <laughs> but I will try a new one, try and learn a new one anyway for you. Signal for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Well, we've had a breakthrough, Alan, but decisive, do you think? I wouldn't uh, bank on it. It doesn't appear to be a game, Martin, that's going to be full of goals in the second half. Let's just hope. The, uh, the trailing side can make a game of it now. Anyway, guys, sorry I lost a bit of track there. I was reading something. Um, it is half time and I'm winning 1 0. Thanks to quite a good goal from a, quite a bit of nice teamwork. Must have say, or must admit. Will Atkinson. Good forward play from them. I think the cross is on. He's got to cross it. Well, guys, I've won that one, one nil. Thank God. From sorry if you couldn't hear me then. I saw that headset. Uh, from a lovely little team work goal. I must admit, I was quite impressed with that. I think that one could be a goal of the season contender. 
Um, and now we hand over to Mike West in the studio. Thanks, Martin and Alan. English Press, I thought that's a transfer two. offer then. My eyesight's go in, I think. Okay, so we're ninth now. Not too bad. So I'm going to praise them after that game. Uh, when it loads. South End United, nil. Barry, two. Praise. Dagenham and Redbridge, nil. Um, I'm going to keep the squad as it is as well because I'm quite impressed with that. Chesterfield, one. Um, so let's play. Let's hear about Burton Albion from my uh, good friend alongside me, Alan Smith. Well, things have gone according to plan. So far, they were aiming for that high finish and they're on course to achieve it if they can keep things going. Yes. Um, um, I can think of a, a uh, thing in above them celebration. I nearly went for gang now, but I put my uh, thumbs in another, another direction. But what a goal that was. Nice early goal to start the game. Oh, damn it, ref. It's been tight, it's been tense. It's been anyway, guys, it's half time. And I am winning 1 0, which is good news. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit of scripting then, but luckily nothing happened. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions. Let's have a look. So I'm going to take Ismail off and put on Hussey. I'm uh, going to put on Billy Key as Cristante. It's McFasden I've got to take off, I think. And I'm going to put on Hemmings. Good awareness by the referee to play the advantage here. Into the attacking third. Here's the cross. It's a good position. It's a chance. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Final whistle. It was really close, right up to the final whistle. But they've got across the finishing line with their noses just in front. I'd be relieved about that because the opposition pushed them all the way. It was a cracking con. Ready and waiting for you now, the classified results from elsewhere. Thanks, Martin and Alan. English Football League 2. Accrington Stanley, one. Berry, two. Burton Albion, one. Torquay United, nil. Cheltenham Town, one. Mansfield Town, one. Chesterfield, three. Bristol Rovers, one. Dagenham and Redbridge, two. Rochdale, two. Fleetwood Town, one. Oxford United, Azogue. one. Hartlepool United, one. I'm going to use Billy Key again. Northampton Town, one. Newport County, one. Scunthorpe United, two. Morecambe, nil. Southend United, three. Exeter City, nil. Wickham Wanderers. I think it's been uh, a really solid campaign for this side, Martin. They were hoping and expecting to finish in a pretty good position, and uh, they are on course to achieve that. You can only put it behind for the corner. And the corner, well, at least said about it, the better. Brilliant pass there. Takes the shot off. Referee's given a corner. Here's the shot. But they're defending for their lives here. Can he turn away from the challenge here? <laughs> Sharps with this shot. Clean save. Chance for him. Jesus, come on. Yeah, I don't think he'll look back on that with fondness. So if they score now, it's my fault completely. I take full responsibility for that. Well, that's gone behind for a corner. That's a corner that carried no threat at all. It's a goal for Oxford United. 26 minutes played. 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Here, oh, oh, the I am. Damn, it. damn, damn. That's clearly a corner. What the hell was that all of that? Stopped emphatically and just seriously, come on. The approach play looked very encouraging. Oh! I could feel that goal come in. Every time I tackled them, the ball just seemed to go back to them. <sighs> well, 
a bit ridiculous. Felt a bit scripted. Right, guys. Half time, and I'm losing 1 0. Thanks to a stupid EA bug. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, anyone tired? Ismail's knackered. I'm going to swap him out. Um, so look, who can I swap him for? Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half. And then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest Bring of the match. Bring on Ooh, McDonald's knackered, so I'm going to bring on Botello as well. Pardon me. Still a chance in this epic game for one side to get a winning goal, but not... Oh, come on, really? Oh, really? That is ridiculous. Substitute has made his mark on the game. I don't know what to say about that. It's Alan. Well, a reasonable gap between well guys, I have lost that game 2-0. Um, again, that one seemed a bit scripted as well. No matter what I'd done, the board just seemed to go to their players, especially on their two goals. There was nothing I could do to stop them. Um, I believe that's the last game of this video as well, and the last game of December. Well, now it's time for the um, so I'm going to end the video Thanks here in a second. Uh, leave it for a couple of days as it's now transfer window. Northampton Town. Um, so quick read these emails. I found all I can in Chile. Good. I'll have a look at them in a bit. Um, yep. Yeah, yada yada. Right. Um, so as I say, I'm going to leave this video for a couple of days now. Um, so in the meantime, if you want to let me know of any players that I should try and look for in this transfer window. Also, if you've got any recommendations for any formations that I could probably use. Um, if anyone knows anything about custom tactics, do let me know. And I'll see if I can have a play with them, sort something. Also, there is something else I wanted to talk about quickly. Um, I've managed to get myself a PS4. But I'm not going to get it until the 9th of September because I've ordered the Destiny bundle. Uh, so I'll be doing a Let's Play on Destiny. I'm also going to be getting The Last of Us. So I'll be doing a Let's Play on that. Um, and then on the 26th of September, I'm going to get FIFA 15. Now, what I want to know is, when I do get FIFA 15, first of all, do you want me to do another career mode with Burton? Or shall I do another team? Uh, let me know what you think and recommendations for teams. Um, I will say though that I don't really like players like, you know, the top league teams like United, Barcelona, Man City, Chelsea. Don't really like play, uh, PSG, etc. Any teams like that. I don't really like playing as them because it's just like, it seems easy. You know, you've got all that money, top-notch players. I like a bit of a challenge and like to build my squad up. So I like playing with lower league teams, but if you if you want me to do a career mode on FIFA 15 with any particular team, do let me know, and um, I'll have a look into that. Also, I will be continuing with this one because I am enjoying it, and I want to see how far I can get some of these players to grow, um, especially that scout that I got. Uh, but what I'll probably do is probably just put these videos up like once or twice a week, as well as the others. So yeah. Um, just a quick recap, do let me know if any players that I can try and sign in this transfer window, any formations that you can recommend or custom tactics, what club you want me to use in FIFA 15, um, I don't think I'm missing anything else, um, I can't remember, <laughs> there's my short term memory, but um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I do hope you are enjoying enjoying this series. I know it's a bit mediocre compared to everyone else that I've seen play FIFA. But, you know, like I say, I'm not the best FIFA player in the world. Never claimed to have done um, or have been or whatever. Um, so I'm going to win, lose a majority, not a majority, but I am bound to lose a few games, draw some. But it's all part of the game, isn't it? So, but yeah. I'm rambling now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.